Hello folks, I'm Chris, thanks for joining me again. We're outside today, as you can tell, at the fire pit. And what I have here is the Dutch oven that we restored uh, about a few days prior. Thing turned out really well. So today we're gonna be able to break this thing in. Uh, we're gonna have some chili going in there today. What we're gonna do is build a fire in the pit and then have a great setting on it. And then go from there. Uh, I found a little bit of information on the Dutch oven itself. Uh, there's not really a whole lot of info on the classic brand company other than that it's a Korean import. Uh, so, in other words, there's not really a whole lot of value to it other than sentimental. And it turned out to be a nice piece. So today, as I said, we're going to get the fire started, which is going to be the first step. And then we're going to, as I said, hopefully get a nice pot of chili going. And hopefully we're going to do some cornbread too in our little six inch pan that we have. So right now we're going to get the fire started. Stick with us. Okay, we're building substantially now. We're just gonna get a good, good cold bed built up before we put the pot on. So a few, a few more minutes and we'll be ready to go. We just started already. Okay, so we added the grate. We're gonna let that thing burn in. Uh, we're gonna get a little bit of surface rust off of it. This is the grate we're gonna be setting the Dutch oven on. So we're gonna give that, I don't know, a half hour to burn in and then we should be ready to go. Okay, so it's been about an hour and we got a good sufficient cold bed built up. Now we're just going to simply preheat the pan. What I'm going to do is I'm going to brown the ground beef in this skillet first and then we're going to mix it in with the beans. So we'll go ahead and warm the pan for a few minutes and then we'll come back and get the ground beef in there. Okay, so we've been preheating for a few minutes and now we're going to brown the ground beef. We're going to give this a few minutes to brown properly, and then we'll check back in. Okay, so we're in the browning process. We added another pan, and we're going to give it a few more minutes, and we should be ready to go. Okay, so we're preheating the meat. Uh, we're gonna be ready here in a few minutes. What I'm gonna do is I got a white onion and a green pepper that we're gonna slice up, put in there. So we're gonna get that prepped now while we're waiting. Okay, so we got the guts removed and the seeds. Now we're just gonna strip it first and then uh, basically just dice it. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Did you just fit? I'm gonna warn you. It's gonna be your fault if you fall down. It smells like a fresh pepper. Yeah. Okay, so there we have the peppers. And then we now we can move on to the onions. You try, I think. So I'm gonna try to serrate this onion. You can see it in a checkerboard, and then hopefully once I cut it like that, I can get chunks. And it worked out pretty good. So as I said, just checkerboard it. One direction, and change direction. And then cut down. Okay. 
Okay, so now we're good with the onions. And then I think we're ready to meet those up with the meat and the beans. Right, we just added the tomato sauce. Hunts. Okay, so we're gonna add the beans where the, the meat's pretty much brown, good to go. We've already added the sauce. Yeah, close again. Okay, now we're going to add the green peppers and onions. Stir those in. It's delicious. There goes the meat. Okay, we're going to add uh, McCormick mild chili powder. <laughs> Okay, we're just gonna stir the chili powder in now. Okay, so this is the final product of what we have. Everything's added. We're just gonna let it go for a good half hour or so, let it come to a strong boil, and then we'll check back in with it. Okay, so it's been 15, 20 minutes. Uh, I think we're ready for a first stir. We're gonna check it, see what we have. We have liftoff, folks. We got boilage. Get out of the way of the smoke. We're going to stir it up nice. Try to keep it out of the fire if we can. Easier said than done. Feels like the pot's performing well. It doesn't seem like anything's sticking. Let's see how it lasts throughout the whole run here. So I guess that's good for the stir. We're gonna put the lid back on and let it keep going. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes after the first flip and as you can see, we're going pretty well. So we're gonna give it a good flip. Smoke some iron. So part of it. Everything looks like it's going good. Looks like we got good heat. So everything so far looks good. Okay, so we're about 45 minutes in at least. And we're still going strong. As you can tell, the chili's thickened up quite a bit, which is good. Everything's looking good there. We also got uh, baked potatoes that we've added. So we're going to let it keep going just for a few more minutes and we're sliding in the home plate. Okay, so we've been preheating for about 10-15 minutes and it looks like the oil is nice and hot so what we're going to do is add the batter which I just added white cornmeal mix and powdered buttermilk along with whole milk and canola oil. So we're going to go ahead and add that. Okay, so we're gonna give that about 10, 15 minutes. Once it gets golden brown, we'll check back in. Okay, so let's do a chili update real quick, see what we got going. It's been well over an hour, and as you can tell, it's thickening up very good. So everything's looking good. We're just gonna let the cornbread go, and we'll be ready. Okay, so it's been well over 10 minutes. We're going to uh, do a dip test here, see what we got, and I would call it good to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this sit off to the side, let that cool down for a minute. Okay, so the, we've let it cool down for at least 10 minutes, and what I'm going to do is just kind of scrape it with a knife to try to get it out of there, see what it looks like. Bam. That's what we got. And that's our cornbread. All right, folks, so we've finished up here. Everything's thickened up really good, looking good. We're going to go ahead and serve it up. I wish you talked to me like you do the camera. <laughs> 
think about it. Roger, what's up? Tell me why. We need that rock bench down here now. Keep it coming while it's hot. Let's go. Okay, so the pe the whole point of this was to check out the quality of the, the pot here that we restored. And, and obviously, as you can see, it's working out pretty good. We don't have any sticking. So the seasoning process worked out very, very well. So I'm glad with that. It's good to go. Mmm, chili. Yes, please, wait. That's the finished product with the baked potato, red red baked potato. Looks wonderful. Okay, this is what we got. The chili's looking really good. Everything thickened up really good. The cornbread turned out really well, and it's a finished product, man. Everything turned out good. The Excellent. the pot turned out extremely well. It performed oh, wow. extremely well, and we got a crowd over here enjoying the chili. So everything looks good. How? What do you think, buddy? Um, hey guys, you saw me dancing. Um, uh, yeah, it's <laughs> it's good. This is my chili dance. I'm gonna get my jacket back on. And it's good. Throw them. Throw them. Like a roll, roll, babe. Roll it up like a spiral and just do this. So don't throw like a football. Come on. No, come on, done. <laughs> if we hit her right in the hands. Jimbo, how's the cornbread? Test it out. How's that batch? Good. Yeah? Just throw that in the fire and see if it works. Yep. If it explodes, it's good. Cornbread good? We ready to get this show rolling? Yep, we're ready to get this show rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, you're a movie star. How's the yeah. cornbread? How's the cornbread? Jim Bob, how's the cornbread? Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down on the cornbread. <laughs> oh, eat me. Okay, so everything's done. Everything's been consumed uh, for the exception of the last little bit. And I just wanted to do the update for the seasoning process of this pot. So if you've been following along with my videos, you've seen that we restored this thing, but a few days ago, it wasn't that long ago. So this is the first break-in, and as you can tell, it's turned out really, really, really well. I'm exceptionally happy with it. There's no sticking to the bottom, no sticking to the sides or anything like that. And the overall product was a very, very well seasoned pot. So I think we're going to get some good use out of this. And everything turned out well. I couldn't be more happy with, with the finished product. So that's that for the pot. We'll continue to keep the update and see the seasoning process. Uh, but for now, that's going to conclude everything. Everything turned out well. Everybody was happy. I'm happy with the seasoning process. So that's a success. Thank you for joining us on this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed the seasoning process of this pot. I enjoyed the restoration and the whole process. So thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, punch buggy's fun. No, fun I just game. do right. Except he doesn't say punch buggy, the color, and no, no punch backs. He just no, punches. No, I did it. And then he says he gets I a punch in his hand. He's like, we're just punching each other. <laughs>